Hi Pisces, welcome to your daily reading. I hope you're doing well. We're going to have a look and see what's going on for um, Pisces placements at this time. What you need to know for your highest good. As always, take what resonates, disregard the rest. Never force anything to fit. If nothing makes sense in a reading, uh, it could be that it just hasn't happened yet or it's simply not your reading. And that's all right. Feel free to check out any other video on the channel. They're all done in divine timing, meant for you to find them when you need them. Thank you all for your comments. I really appreciate all your feedback on the readings and sharing your stories with me. I read them all. I just haven't had the time or energy to sit back and actually respond. Um, there's also a lot of you commenting, which I'm very thankful for, but I just, I physically can't get back to, <laughs> to everyone. Um, and especially now that I haven't feel, been feeling very well. But I will, I will get back into that because I like connecting with you guys. Two wands. Okay, we'll see. Now my migraine is still kind of somewhere in the background, so I don't want to do anything to upset it. <laughs> so I hope it's okay. I didn't put on, uh, didn't turn on the lamp today. But these cards have um, like a gold foil thingy on them, so hopefully you'll be able to actually see them better without the light. Um, of the lamp so we'll see it's a new deck it's really beautiful hope you enjoy it all right so let's see what's going on for Pisces placements at this time thank you for all your support your likes your shares for subscribing and again for your beautiful comments let's see what's going on for Pisces at this time what does Pisces need to know for their highest good. All right, here we go. So this is gonna be the situation that's being highlighted for us at this time. And what we can expect to see happen when it comes to the situation. All right. Bottom of the deck, we have the two of pentacles. Choices, choices. Um, this could just be, you know, you're having a busy day you have a lot going on, a lot of um, balls in the air, as they say. Um, this could also be budgeting, like taking things from one place, putting them in another, like taking surplus from one place and filling something up where there's lack. To balance things out, to even things out is also what I'm seeing. But it could also be a decision that you're struggling with or um, that you'll be presented with, okay? And this is where you're considering things. Current situation, the five of pentacles. So for some of you, it's definitely budgeting. Um, you may have had a financial loss or a setback or where you just don't have enough money to cover everything you'd like to cover. Um, or for a significant purchase, right? And this is where you're reassessing things and you're budgeting, trying to figure out if you can take money back from something and get the thing you want to get, right? Or take money, money back from, um, and this isn't, if it's not actual money, it's resources of any kind. So just keep in mind, okay? The readings are general. Um, it's where you're checking to see where am I putting, where am I investing too much into something and I'm not getting what I really want to get out of it. Maybe it's time to withdraw some of the resources or all of the resources I've put into it and invest in this other situation or invest in myself, right? Where there, where I feel a sense of lack. In the challenge position, we have the three of cups. Um, so for some of you, this is just, you want to socialize, you want to go out, you want to meet people um, and you feel like, well, I don't really have a, the money for that. It's not in the budget, right? Um, for others of you, it's feeling a little bit lonely or feeling a little bit left behind or just feeling a little bit depleted. And it could be that either you want to be around people and you need money or other types of resources for that and you feel like you don't have it right now. And for others of you, it's other people that are depleting you. This could be a person or a group of people that, you know, they're the ones that, oh, let's eat out again tonight. Um, let's go out for drinks, let's go out and party, let's go out and do stuff where it always costs money. And it could be that at this time you're reevaluating. Do I really wanna be around these people because I just spent all my money that I had budgeted for myself for the whole month, I spent it in a week, right? So for some of you, there could be something like that going on as well. 
Knight of Pentacles in the foundation. So you're definitely reassessing your investments, okay? And that could be, do I really want to be friends with these people? Because they're costing me time, energy, money. Do I really want to date this person? Because I'm not getting anything back from them. I'm putting everything I have into it. I'm not getting anything back. Do I really still want to be with this person? Because again, it's an uneven situation. I'm putting everything I have in it and I feel like I'm at a loss. I'm not getting anything in return. Do I still want to work here? Right? Same thing, same type of question when it comes to an investment. In the recent past, here's the two of wands. I feel like you were presented with a choice. And that is what, aren't these cards beautiful, guys? Let me know if you like them. They're so beautiful. Um, and I actually think you can see them a lot better without the lamp. I'll use them again with the lamp and we can compare, but not right now because my migraine's okay and I don't want to upset it. <laughs> um, but yeah, in the recent past, you were given a choice, right? So up until this point, you're like, well, this is what it is. It's fine. You never questioned it. Or even if you did question it, it was like, it's fine. It'll be okay, right? But then in the, in the recent past, either you met someone new, someone's talking to you about a new job opportunity, someone's talking to you about a new way of doing things, right? Um, and it's like, it, you can compare now, right? And then all of a sudden, it's a lot clearer that, you know what? Actually, that might not be the best investment for me. This thing could be, right? The new thing. So that is what has prompted all of this. What's on the mind, the hermit? You're withdrawing. You're withdrawing your energy to be able to make a decision that's clear and that you feel confident, confident and comfortable making, okay? Um, I feel like for the most part, you know you want to withdraw from an existing investment Again, time, energy, money, money, affection, any type of resource, right? And this is where with the Hermit Virgo energy, you are assessing, you've made up your mind that you want to withdraw from that, um, what do you want to call it? Less, less than fulfilling, um, something where you come up short, something that doesn't give you a good investment, uh, return on your investment, something that's lacking, basically, okay? You made up your mind that you know what that's not the best investment investment for me and this is where you take a step back you see the big picture and you tell me, it's like you double check your facts right am i sure that's what i want to do um and what's my plan going forward all right but that is what i'm seeing okay so just to sum up because with the three of cups it's also talking about three things three you in in between two choices two options sorry because a choice options are multiple um something new came in recently and it put things in perspective it gave you something to compare against and you realize that something you were part of was not fulfilling you okay and for the longest time maybe you didn't even question it you just took it for what it was but now by comparison with the new thing it's like, no, that isn't right. I was I was right, you know, that's not fair. That's not okay. I was right. This isn't, you know what I mean? Um, it's like you're getting confirmation that if you thought things weren't fair, yeah, they weren't fair. Or if you thought the other person or the other party could do more, could do better, maybe they told you they couldn't or they told you whatever was going on was normal. Now you're looking at it like, well, no, that's not it because look, this other person, this other company, this other situation is offering me more from the go. So what I'm asking for isn't too much. What I'm expecting isn't too much, right? Maybe you were dealing with that kind of situation. So what's going on today? Oh, the Two of Cups, the Fool, and the Ten of Swords. Oh, you're making a big decision here, Pisces. Look at these cards. To put an end to the lack or the lacking investment situation, whatever, in your life, and you're going full speed ahead wholeheartedly towards this new partnership of the three you're choosing one definitely sorry of the two because it's you and making looking at two options you're choosing one so that becomes your two of cups okay and you're just going for it look at it you're just diving into it okay with the full putting an end to this unfulfilling lacking quite frankly dead-end situation black hole in your life 
And again, it could be a job situation. It could be a friendship. It could be a relationship, a romantic relationship, or a relationship of any kind, a business collaboration. Um, it could even be where, for some of you, you've been saving money for something, like a big deal, right? Home, car, whatever. And you've been saving your money thinking, okay, that's the best thing for me. I've done my research, that's the best thing for me. And then recently you were presented with an option of have you considered this? And you're like, I, no, I haven't. What, do you, what is that? Tell me more about it. And then all of a sudden you're like, well, actually, I don't have to put aside 50% of my paycheck and then the other 40 goes on bills and then if you're lucky and then um, only live off 10% as an example, right? For the whole month, because I have to save, 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 right? Maybe if I went for this other thing, I have more flexibility. There's a pay payment plan available. I could pay in installments. I could do this, I could do that, right? And then all of a sudden it's like, I don't have to push myself, starve myself, God forbid, um, limit myself, restrict myself for this thing that I thought, you know, it is what it is and there's nothing else, or there's nothing better, or this is normal. Because this new thing is amazing, and it's good, and it's healthy, and it gives me a lot healthier possibilities. Does that make sense? I'm liking this, Pisces. I really am. So this is a big course adjustment that you're embracing, and you're going with it. All right, so let's get more cards out here for Pisces. Five of Pentacles in your current situation, the Chariot. Yeah, you're done. This is Cancer energy. This could have happened during Cancer season. You had the epiphany, the realization, or you were presented with this opportunity, okay? So that could be how you know where Cancer is involved somehow. The Three of Cups in the Challenge position, the Page of Swords. Yeah, you really had to look at things, assess things uh, from all angles, uh, keep an open mind. And make a very uh, logical decision with the Page of Swords. Even though it was cups related, you had to make a very logical decision. You had to consider all the facts. The Knight of Pentacles in the Foundation, the King of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could have been... Uh, I also get the sense of you could have been trying to please someone we're working towards someone's approval or working to prove yourself to someone because that's how they made you feel or that's what they told you you should be doing and they constantly you felt less than you felt like you're you're never deserving right whoever this person is in your life and then you met someone new in whatever capacity and they're appreciative of you and they you know show you kindness and they show you gratitude and you're like oh my god <laughs> i knew i wasn't crazy i knew i was a good person i knew i deserved what i put out there right i knew i wasn't crazy this is someone who made you feel like what you were asking for was too much even though what you were asking for was less than what you were offering right so you are offering 80% and you said, you know what, if you give me 20%, I'll be happy with it. We don't have to be 50-50. I'm okay to give 80% if you give 20%. And this person made you feel like you were crazy and you should just be happy with the 5% they're offering you because you're just ridiculous waiting for 20%. You know what I mean? When you're putting 80% in a 50-50 situation, right? This is kind of what I'm seeing. Two of wands in the recent past, the queen of pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy could be significant. Again, this could be what you're leaving behind or the new situation that's been presented to you. Okay, but you were given a new perspective. You had to think in terms of long term. Do I, does this really have a future? Does this have a happy future? Does this have a healthy future? Because it might have a future, but am I happy? You really had to ask yourself some, uh, some difficult questions here. The Hermit on the Mind, Strength. Yeah, during Leo season, you're walking away from something that was unfulfilling and moving towards a new direction 
that you've recently come across or it was recently presented to you, offered to you, that you've recently started to really look at and really consider. Okay? Two of Cups, the Fool, and the Ten of Swords. Yeah, look, the Death card. The Seven of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Like I said, whatever you're leaving behind was a dead-end situation. Scorpio energy here. You're putting very strong boundaries up when it comes to this thing, this person. You're saying this is done and it's staying done. I feel like, again, it's something where you kept trying at it. You kept trying at it with the Ten of Swords. And you always came up short. You always came up short. It, you were never good enough. It, whatever you were doing wasn't good enough. You know, um, or that's how they made you feel. Or that's actually what they told you. There may have been a lot of breakups and makeups where you were the initiator of the makeup. They were the breaking up with you part. You were always going after them. You were always trying to be the wicked person and make things work. And what ended up every time you sacrificed more and more and more. Oh, God. One sec. Sorry. <laughs> that, uh gets me every time <laughs> but yeah so on again off again breakups and makeups and every time you try to make it work you try to be the bigger person um and what that happened what okay get your words monica what happened was every time you agreed to sacrifice more and more and more because somehow they made you feel like it was your fault you know what i mean or you were responsible for fixing it and that's how you ended up in the Ten of Swords situation. And that cycle of self-sacrifice and self-sabotage in your life, that is what you're now putting to an end with the Death card. It was meant to happen. You're in line with your divine path and your lessons because you have the Hermit here where you've learned the lesson. You've had the epiphany. You had this in how you see things, right, in your perspective. So you've had the epiphanies. You've learned the lessons. And now you're taking action with the Strength card. To put an end to this cycle of unfair fill in the, br the blanks right you're putting very strong boundaries up with the seven of wands that's such a beautiful card and you are focused on this new investment in your life with the ace of pentacles this is solid this is healthy and this is the type of situation where if you nurture it it will nurture you okay with the ace of pentacles it's like planting, uh, um, I don't know, some, a garden, planting a garden, right? That's the Ace of Pentacles. You start with a little seedling of something, and if you plant it and you take care of it and you nurture it properly, when it bears fruit, you can eat. You know what I mean? It's that kind of thing. You can sustain yourself. I'm loving this, Pisces. Awesome. What else for Pisces on this? We have the Queen of Swords, Judgment, and Justice. Oh, that's not a final decision. I don't know what it is. Um, this is handing in your notice, filing for divorce, breaking up, um, moving out, making things official with the Queen of Swords. And it is definite and it is permanent with the Judgment card and the Justice card. It's all the way done big epiphany but also a sense of freedom a sense of independence a sense of um like a new you okay you're reinventing yourself with the queen of swords and the judgment energy away from this this cycle that you're leaving behind in your past because it's not just with one person it's a it's a cycle where it was different people same situation it was different environments same situation because the common thread the common denominator was you wanting to be a good person and ended up being taken advantage of in your love life in your friendships at your job okay and so what you've learned is self-love self-respect that you deserve that you are worthy what that has done it's given you um the confidence to put up boundaries seven of wands to see things in perspective in terms of balance in terms of fairness okay to have expectations not just self-sacrifice for the sake of it because that really it almost ruined you with the ten of swords okay you might have gone through a couple of ruined moments in your life because you were giving and you got taken advantage of to an extreme and i'm not preaching at you i'm not you know saying anything was anyone's fault or you should have known better i'm not doing that pisces i'm a pisces i know exactly what that is i've been there i'm not doing it 
It's a beautiful thing to have this giving nature. It's a beautiful thing to be able to give without boundaries and to give without expectation. Not everyone can do it, Pisces. Honestly, not everyone can do it. Okay? It's a beautiful thing. But what we have to learn as Pisces is how to be discerning with that and only give without expectation when the situation or the person deserves it or they reciprocate as best as they can. Do you know what I mean? That's the lesson. It's not close off and be an a-hole, pardon my French, because that's the world we live in and you have to look after yourself and be mean because otherwise you won't survive. It's not that Pisces. And we've been through that phase. It's accepting, embracing this nature and this part of ourselves that's, that makes a Pisces really special. And a lot of times, like the saving grace in this world, I'm not just you know saying that, but honestly, genuine kindness, genuine just decency, genuine love is I think why we're still alive like and on this planet. <laughs> you know, and that's just my opinion. Because when you look at what's going on in the world, it's terrifying. And you're like, how are we still allowed to exist? Like what is happening here, right? But there's gotta be good for that scales to be balanced and it is balanced. So that gives me hope that we, we're doing something right. And if we do our part as we can, the best we can, but also in a safe way for ourselves as well, give, but know up to what point you're willing to give. And if you are deciding to make a sacrifice for something, have it very clear in your mind, you know, what that's gonna entail and how many times you're willing to do that and under what circumstances you're willing to do that, to just give and not expect back anything, right? Because it shouldn't be the default because it ends up not really helping anyone because what usually happens is the predators come sniffing and we just get kind of ruined and left behind. So we didn't really, you know, no one really benefited of our giving nature. So we have to be discerning and look at our giving nature as a resource, as a resource, okay? Not everyone deserves it. Up to what point? What are we willing to do? What are we willing to give? And sacrifice is never the answer. Self-sacrifice, Pisces, even though it's a, it's a natural thing to Pisces, that's just who we are, that should not be the default because it's not healthy, like endless. You know what I mean? Endlessly self-sacrificing. We deserve to be happy too. We deserve to receive. Maybe we're not expecting for someone to give what we're giving to the level that we're giving because we understand not everyone's like us and that's okay, but something, you know what I mean? To where it's fair or it's close to fair and close to balanced and that is the lesson that you've learned Pisces okay and that's why you're now presented with because that's exactly what the two of, of cups is it's an equal partnership it's equal give and take it is 50 50 okay and um, it might not be exact like okay if I, I'm putting up Fifty dollars, you have to put up fifty dollars, right? It might not. It, it might be. I'm putting up money. I'm investing money in our partnership because that's what I have to spare, or that's what I am confident offering, or that's what I can provide. And the other person, I'm putting up nurturing energy. I'm putting up healing energy. But it balances out. We look after each other. Okay. We both get something out of it. We both put into it. We both get something out of it. That is healthy. That is balanced. All right, so it's a beautiful new relationship in your life. Um, and if it's not with another person or in a job situation, it's within yourself, Pisces, where it's a new relationship you have with yourself. It's a new relationship you have with how you view money. It's a new relationship you have with how you view your own resources, including that giving nature. And you're making different decisions now, and that will transpire in your external world as well okay in relationships with other people in relationships with structures etc so pisces what a beautiful reading today let me know what you think i hope i made sense i hope i wasn't like too out there let's see what is the power thought for pisces at this time what else does pisces need to know what else does pisces need to know all is well in my world. Look at all the planets and the stars and all the planetary alignments. 
And that's what Saturn is doing in our sign as well. It's our first house, our, our identity. That's literally what this is, where we're looking at who am I? What do I have to bring to the table? What do I deserve? And we're rethinking investments and what do I really want to put hard work into? Like what is worthy of that and what isn't? That's exactly what this is. Everything is working out for my highest good. Out of this situation, only good will come. I am safe. You're making different choices and you're setting yourself on a path that is, like I said, it's in alignment with your divine purpose. Whatever that may be, whether you know it or not. Okay, with the judgment card, you're heeding a call to lift yourself up, to level up, to embrace this new understanding that you have and to start living it. Okay, and then all will be well. This prosperity coming in, there's abundance of all kinds. But more importantly, there's healthy balance, okay, in all areas of your life. So Pisces, this is a beautiful reading. I hope it helps. I hope it resonates. hope it makes sense to you. I'm really looking forward to your comments. Let me know if you like this deck. I think it's absolutely gorgeous and such a beautiful message you delivered, didn't it? So let me know how I resonate with the reading if you do. And I really hope it helps, you know, and if it makes no sense to you, start thinking about it. Maybe this is the two of wands in your life, right? Me giving you a new way of looking at things. Well, not me. I'm just delivering the messages, but you know what I mean, right? You're presented with a, a new possibility of how to look at things, a new perspective. Could you apply that in your life? Where could you apply that? How could you apply it? You know? Beautiful, beautiful Pisces. All right, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you all for uh, watching. Thank you for, like I say, all your beautiful support. Uh, that you show and uh, just for turning up and spending this time with me I'm learning a lot <laughs> I'm quite enjoying our, our daily sessions um, and I hope you're enjoying them and I hope you find them useful as well because that's why I'm doing this all right I'm gonna leave it there have a beautiful day look after yourself and I'll see you tomorrow bye for now